ice, all grey here. A back on landmark. Um, not been on here for quite a time, to be honest. Uh, I've logged in basically just to have a look at the new outfits that I saw that they were bringing out yesterday in the patch on Friday. So I thought we'd have a look. That's the outfit that we had a couple of months ago that he's wearing at the moment, which is the soldier's breastplate, I believe. And then the mercenary. It's very nice. And all these now have different stats on them. If I can bring up... Uh, uh, there we go. Scoring critical strike instantly heals 25% of your maximum energy. Can only be triggered every two seconds. Yeah, some of these now they have stats that link into some of the weapons as well, I believe. Uh, blood salt leathers. Let's have a look at those. Very sweet. While your armors are at nil, your critical strike is increased by 100%. So, pretty pretty good stats on these, aren't they? Cloak of Quickness. Decreases your cooldowns by 30%, but lowers your offense by 15%. Battleforge Plate. That looks nice, I like that. It's the kind of thing that I would use using physical dash ability. Gives you a temporary shield equal to 5% of your maximum health. Which would tie in with the the sword. Because the sword has dash. So by using your dash skill, you would then trigger that. Which would give you shield equal to 5% of your maximum health. So you can see how it's all sort of starting to link in now. They've still got a long way to go before it gets ready for launch, but it's getting there, I believe. Alright, Battleforge Plate, Barbed Armour. Very similar to the first one, only this one has a, like a damage shield on it. As you can see there. Pursuit of Power. You gain 10% armour steel, but your armour is reduced by 20%. Okay. Fiery tunic. That's got to be something to do with fire spells, yeah? Your offences increase by 10% while using fire abilities, yep. Yeah. But fire spells cost 20% more energy. And last but not least, the frost coat. They've got a good graphic on these. I quite like the, the style of all these armors. What's that? Each time you damage a frozen or stared opponent with a water ability, there's an additional 0.05 offence damage. Okay. There's also helmets to go with all these, like there's a soldier's helm there. And I think I made a couple of the other ones. Power helmet, blood-soaked hood. There's also gloves as well. But I thought I'd give you a quick look at what the new armours would look like and the kind of skills I have with them. I don't think I've shown you this before. This is the, uh, the representation of my house. <laughs> as near as I could get it. Maybe you can imagine the same, of, same as that. Either side in a big long row in a terraced house. That would be my house. Uh, the gate's quite similar and the wall's very similar. I'm just down here. Yeah, I did mess about with some of the uh, the Halloween tools. Or props, shall I say. The creaky gate into my tunnel. Yeehaw! A few gravestones with skulls. There's all my crafty equipment. And there's my exit into the water. And as usual, Nick has a big skull. <laughs> I can't resist doing that. So there we go, guys. Only a quick visit. I just wanted to let you see the new armor styles they brought out. I believe they're bringing out excess, some more accessories and increasing the drop rates of the chests in the caves and increasing some of the size of the caves into caverns, I believe. So there's a lot to look forward to over the next couple of months with Landmark. 
and I will try and keep you informed of what's going on. Thanks very much for watching, guys. If you like the videos, please leave me a like and subscribe. This is all grey. Signing off.